Zoe Divers here with another amazing episode of Dumpster Diving. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So last night we found a ton of home decor stuff and like glassware stuff and a couple things from the $5 and under store. But we have a big box to go through and a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead, guys, and just jump right into it. So I'm going to start off in this corner right here. We found some posters from this movie right here. And these are like the different kind of... I guess like designs, pictures on them. And it's just like a few of them. It looks like it's mainly a lot of this one right here and that one doesn't look like anything else. Maybe just like one random one. But we did find some posters so we thought well, I might as well just go ahead and grab it. We're just gonna go ahead and donate them. Over here we found, this is actually pretty neat. Um, it was from this store right here. It is a helmet garden speaker with Bluetooth wireless technology. Pretty neat. Um, it's actually not broken, but I don't know if you guys can hear it. It has like a little demo. Um, I don't know maybe if like someone returned it because maybe the speaker isn't loud enough, but it does have like a little tiny chip right here. Nothing too, too bad. So definitely excited to use that. And then over here, we found a couple items from the bed and bath store. Um, I'm gonna start off over here. We found two boxes of these and they were actually still in like the shipping boxes, but you can hear the glass was broken. So I took one of them out, took every single glass out. We had a couple broken glasses and I went to grab the other one and a lot of them were like completely smashed or cracked. So I grabbed enough just to make one full set of right here. So it comes with 30 pieces and it's like a tall glass, medium glass and a short glass. Unfortunately, I do not know the size, but let me just open you so you guys can see. It's nicely packaged in there too. So um, a lot of the top ones are broken and all the way in the bottom. So all I did, like I said, was just go ahead and pull out the good ones from the other box and make a whole set. And then over here, we found two boxes of wine glasses. I still don't know what the price is, but they're supposed to be 12. And each of them had just one broken piece. Oh, okay, as you guys can see, um, I do have to recheck these because I think I, oh, actually I need to toss this one out. It's got a pretty bad chip. But um, a lot of it was just like either one piece or a couple cracked ones. But I think this one has two missing, I believe. And then over here we found a really cute cake stand. It's like a three tier and it's actually in separate pieces. The top piece is broken, but let me go ahead and pull it out for you guys. So like I said, the top piece was broken to it, but we were, were able to save the bottom and the middle piece. And what I like about it is that you can separate them too. So it doesn't just have to be um, like a little stand. You can use them just for cakes or for desserts. So I'm definitely excited to use this. box right here is a ton of stuff from a home decor store. So let me go ahead and start pulling stuff out. First off, we have a really pretty shadow box. It is cracked right here, but I can probably just realign it and fix it pretty easily, but it's really nice. It didn't have a price tag on it. I'm guessing it must have been on like one of these little corner protectors and it's missing the other three. So unfortunately I don't know the price and I absolutely love this. It is a eight by 10 picture frame. It's like wood and it's got some silver and like distress marks. Um, no price tag on that either, huh? Um, the glass was broken, so I just popped the glass out. But like I said, I usually just go to our local dollar store and just pick up a, you know, a eight by 10 picture and just take the glass out. Then over here, we have another one. It is by this brand right here. And it's like one of those mirrored ones. It's got a little crack somewhere. Yeah, just a little crack right there. Nothing too, too bad, but definitely like that. Then over here, I'm actually surprised. This is a really pretty heavy, oh, don't fall, let me back up, there we go. It's a really pretty heavy, like watercolor kind of looking vase. It isn't broken. I don't know maybe if there was like flowers meant to be in there, or, but it's super nice. Definitely excited to use this. Then over here, we found a big orchid plant. I love finding plants like this. Um, let's see, still no price tag. I can't tell you guys, geez. But um, the vase did break on the bottom of it, but I just simply stick it into like another little vase I'll buy from like, you know, just some any old store, something cheap but it is really pretty. I like that it has like that pebble detail to kind of make it look realistic. And what I like about this is that it also has one on the bottom compared to the top ones. It kind of makes it look a little bit fuller. Then over here, getting a little heavy, we found this really cute like children's step stool. It's got like a little dump trucks, like construction kind of theme. And it's got like a little 3D design right there. And also 
on the other side. It is identical, but if you guys can see, it looks like there must have been just like a little wooden piece right here. It did break off, but I'm just gonna remove these nails right there. Oops, sorry guys for the camera banging into that. I'm just gonna remove the nails and repaint it, but this is really cute. And over here we have the succulent arrangement. Um, unfortunately, the entire pot is completely broken. I don't know if you guys can see. There's a piece that fell out when I went to sit it down, but I'm planning on just taking the entire pot apart and then keeping the arrangement and just trying to find another pot similar to it that I can put into the stand because I think it looks really neat sitting up like that. Or maybe I just might, I don't know, I might, I'm gonna mess around with it, but I definitely wanna try to find a pot similar to that size. But I'm thinking about putting this in our foyer bathroom because I've been doing a lot of redecorating with the items that we find from the dumpster. I have been thinking about doing another updated house tour. Not 100% sure. I don't know maybe if you guys would be interested in seeing another one. But um, I guess definitely let me know if you guys want to see another updated house tour with the dumpster dive finds and how I decorated in the comments below. And I'll definitely do one if you guys are interested in it. But um, that is a little succulent arrangement. And then the last thing that we have is a candle. It's not like broken, I think. I think it's supposed to be like burnt in here. Oh, hold on, I see some glass. I take that back. <laughs> Maybe there's supposed to be glass around it. I'm not 100% sure. But um, I don't know, it doesn't say like what the scent is. Uh, it kind of smells like cut grass, oddly. Yeah, it kind of smells like cut grass. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be burning that because I'm like deathly allergic to cut grass. But um, yeah guys, we found a ton of really neat things. A lot of like glassware stuff. I'm really excited about that. And a lot of home decor items. But yeah guys, that's gonna conclude this night's episode. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the Dumpster Squad. And please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and tune in tomorrow night for another episode. <music>